Ladies, it's time for the Arby's Classic to go. Hi everybody, I'm Marky Bilson, and I want to talk a little bit about the Tri-Cities as we go into the 20s. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, possibly Instagram uh, as well. I'm doing a lot of uh, these podcasts. Also, archiving a lot of my sports talk show that was broadcast in the Tri-Cities for three years. Also have some very exciting news, hopefully, coming up very shortly. Uh, some projects that I'm working on in addition to this one. But let's talk a little bit about what's going on right now as the new year emerges in the world of sports, especially locally. Uh, the Arby's Classic, which has been a one-time prestigious high school basketball tournament uh, played right after Christmas. Christmas in Bristol, Tennessee, in Viking Hall, which is actually for a high school basketball arena. Not a bad venue. I mean, they've had Kisses played there, I remember. Uh, and it holds about 5,000 people, but they don't draw that. And that's important to remember. And also, the Arby's Classic is just not getting the field that they used to. There was now only one international team, and it's the same one from the Bahamas that they always get, that never wins it. A local team hasn't won the tournament in 20 years, uh, you know, and the interest is just not there. Uh, I'll give you an example. Johnson City Press sent Tanner Cook to cover the Arby's Classic this year. That's not a knock on Tanner Cook, but he is the least tenured of the four Johnson City Press sports writers. Now, at one time, you couldn't have kept Doug Fritz away from there, uh, but they were sending Jeff Birchfield out to cover the tournament Cloudland. In Roan Mountain, Tennessee, population 700, single-A basketball team. You know, Jeff Birchfield was covering Cloudland. Tanner Cook was covering the Arby's Classic. Again, not a knock on Tanner Cook at all. Please don't take it as that way. Hey, like to see him emerging, a career and all that. But frankly, uh, you know, they sent the least tenured sports writer out to cover what used to be, to so many people the premier sporting event in the Tri-Cities outside of the NASCAR events? It's debatable, but to some people it would have been. It's time for it to go. And here's why. This is what I saw on January 1st, the Winter Classic down in Dallas, where 85,600 people went to a venue that, you know, doesn't get a whole lot of events. Hmm, what does that sound like in Bristol? Hmm... Dallas Stars came back from a 2-0 deficit when the Nashville Predators lost Ryan Ellis uh, to injury. They were playing with five defensemen. They came back with four straight goals, won the game 4-2. And the thought occurred, why couldn't there be a Winter Classic at Bristol Motor Speedway? We saw what happened in 2016 at BMS with the Battle of Bristol, the 157,000 fans, or was it 130, that showed up to BMS to see the Tennessee Volunteers beat the Virginia Tech Hokies in the largest attended college football game ever. Now, what would it mean if that occurred in the Tri-Cities for an NHL game? Because this is not really hockey territory, I'll give you that. But how about a Battle of Bristol outdoor hockey game between the Nashville Predators and the Carolina Hurricanes? Folks, uh, people I've talked to at BMS say that they have discussed having a hockey game at BMS. Now, Arby's likes to tell you that we bring in a million dollars every year in economic impact. That's chump change to what a potential winner classic would bring in to Bristol. Absolute chump change. Imagine more than 100,000 people watching the Predators and the Hurricanes play, and a lot of them would be coming in from out of town. That's the economic impact. Not, you know, 
500 people in the stands coming in from Menor, Ohio, or, you know, suburban Cleveland or whatever, you know, a few hotel rooms, it would be like the good old days with the NASCAR races where every hotel for miles and miles and miles was filled up around New Year's and such. It would be a huge event, just like it used to be if you saw the Winter Classic, how they really brought back the Texas State Fair for a day around the Cotton Bowl, that sort of thing. And it could spur a movement to, hey, hey, build a new arena in the Tri-Cities, which would have enough floor space to put in an ECHL team. The current venues around here, possible exception of the Mini Dome, but they're not going that way. But they're all basketball courts. There's not enough floor space for hockey. That means not enough floor space a lot of times for concerts. And you could have so many more events come in with a new arena. The area desperately needs a new arena. You could have the ECHL team here. And what would it mean to the Tri-Cities to have an ECHL team when Roanoke, Knoxville, and Asheville do not? Hmm. It would be a huge benefit. Hey, looks like the Appalachian League is going to go away. Uh... We need something to take its place. Here's my proposal, folks. And a Winter Classic at BMS could certainly spur that kind of movement. It would help everybody. More concerts come in, more tractor pulls, more whatever. You know, church services. What would that do for the economic impact of the area? Again, a million dollars around Christmas? Uh, that's dwarfed. Yeah. But you'd have to get rid of the Arby's Classic, at least for the one year of the Winter uh, Classic, and possibly even more, because you need the hotel space for such an event. But the bottom line is this. The Arby's Classic, I really think it is keeping the area back. It's still living off the success of the 1990s high school basketball teams in this area. You know, Science Hill, certainly. And before that, maybe Dobbins Bennett. Uh, they're not elite anymore. Science Hill is going to Hawaii now to play postseason tournaments. They're not even playing in the Arby's. And they're telling us how great Viking Hall is. Viking Hall, you've been to better arenas, folks. It's 5,000 people. Yeah, it's nice for a high school team. It's not nice for a major metropolitan area, which deserves better. And Winter Classic at BMS could bring that. Have to let go of the Arby's Classic for that. It would be a welcome switch. Folks, again, if you like what I'm talking about, I urge you, follow my YouTube channel. Uh, we've got now the archives of my old show. You'll see uh, my modern podcast that I do right here. And uh, also, Instagram, Marky Bilson on sports. Follow me there. Don't forget Twitter either, uh, Marky, at Marky Bilson. Talk to you next time. I'm Marky Bilson.